If you're someone who likes to stay in Airbnbs, I'm gonna give you a few tips to help you save 50% or more on your next Airbnb stays. Hey everybody, I'm Wallers Wallen, and this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing you how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing and turn the notification bell on as well. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, it really helps the channel out. And when it comes to my travels, especially international travel, I am a bigger fan of Airbnb over hotel stays. There's just something about having a whole flat or house that is just awesome. You can have a kitchen to do some cooking, you can have a washing machine to do your laundry, it's just a great experience. And at the core of it all, I really feel it gives me more of an authentic feel for the area compared to a hotel. That said, there is nothing wrong with staying at a hotel, but typically when I travel internationally, I prefer Airbnb. But when you stay at an Airbnb, that usually means there are fewer options to use your credit card rewards on, because you can't transfer your points to Airbnb like you can with hotels. You're usually stuck using cash back cards or cards like the Capital One Venture card just to erase the charges. But there's a trick that I've been using for a while now that helps me cut my cost just about 50% or more, and that is buying Airbnb gift cards from Amazon. But the trick is you also need membership reward points to make this happen, because that is the point currency that seems to give you some great value at Amazon. Now, some of the programs use similar promos similar to this, but I haven't seen any others offer 50% off. See, Amazon pretty regularly has promotions where you can redeem one membership reward point and receive $30 off $60 or more. They've had different variations of this as well, maybe $50 off $250, but the $30 off $60 comes around pretty frequently. And with this promotion, you only need to use one membership reward point to save yourself 30 bucks, which if you can get more than $30 per point somewhere else, by all means, Please let me know down in the comments, but getting $30 for a single point is an absolutely outstanding value. And part of the terms and conditions in order for your purchase to be eligible, it has to be sold by Amazon. So it can't be a third party selling on Amazon, it has to come directly from Amazon, which is pretty easy to find things Amazon sells, right? And when you look at Airbnb gift cards or other third party gift cards, many of them are sold by ACI gift cards which is owned by, you guessed it, Amazon, making many gift cards, including Airbnb, eligible for this promotion. So to get 50% off, you're gonna need to select e-gift card in the email delivery. When you do that, you're gonna be able to either select a predetermined gift card amount, or you can select other amounts. Just hop on over to that other amount section and type in $60, it's pretty simple. And once you get to the payment screen, you're gonna to need to select a membership reward earning credit card and use just one point. You might need to change it to use just a single point because the system will sometimes have you use all your points for this purchase, so be sure to change that because you don't wanna make the mistake and use all your points here because it would be a terrible value to do so. And using just this single point will trigger that $30 savings to appear in your cart. And you can even use Amazon gift cards you've bought at a discount as well. So for example, if you had an American Express offer to say, let's say Staples and bought an Amazon gift card at a discount, then this further increases your savings here. Then once you check out, your gift card is gonna be in your email in just a few minutes. Then you can load that bad boy into your Airbnb account and then you're ready to book your stay. And this tip alone could save you 50% on your next Airbnb stay. Now, you do need to be opportunistic and buy these when the deals are there, but I have been targeted so many times recently and there's been data saying that if you were to delete your membership reward cards and then relink your membership reward account to Amazon, it'll help you be targeted for these deals. So if you're not having any luck to be targeted for this, be sure to try that because people are being targeted after they relink their account. Now, there are two more ways to increase your savings. First is to use Drop. With Drop, you can earn 20 drop points per dollar at Amazon, and when you hit 20,000 drop points, you can earn yourself a $20 Amazon gift card. Now, I realize this is not a whole lot of savings, but if you spend a lot of money on Amazon, like we do, then it would be pretty easy to rack up a lot of drop points and then reinvest it back into Amazon gift cards. And you can earn drop points at other retailers as well, but it's pretty rare to find Amazon as a whole to be eligible for points. It's usually just on select products. And if you're interested in signing up for Drop, I'll put my link in the description below. If you use it, we each will get five bucks for you signing up. And if you use that, thank you very much. I do appreciate it.
And the other way to increase your earning rates or saving just a little bit more is to use one of the partnerships with Delta or British Airways. You're just gonna need to go through the airline portal with Airbnb and then you're gonna earn those airline miles for your Airbnb stay. And currently you can earn one Delta mile per dollar spent on Airbnb or earn three Avios per dollar spent at Airbnb. And personally, I've been choosing Avios recently since I'll be earning three Avios per dollar. And then I can use these for short haul American airline flights. And when you stack all of these methods together, this can help you save over 50% on your Airbnb stays. The key is to buy Airbnb gift cards when you're targeted for that membership reward promotion. And the savings can be even better if you were to use an American Express offer to buy Amazon gift cards at a discount as well. Then you don't wanna to forget to use Drop and then booking through the Delta or Avios portal as well because those are just icing on the cake. So tell me, have you ever tried these tips when it comes to saving money on Airbnb? Hey, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who might benefit from this video, feel free to share it with them. And if you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using the links on the website or in the description below. And if you like learning about credit cards, points, miles, cashback, or just flat out traveling for less, consider the subscribe button down below. And until next time, safe travels and take care.